Welcome to Simply Storage Management, part of a series detailing various basic aspects of data storage. In this episode, we'll cover some ways data can be managed among various storage platforms. You have data to store. You have platforms on which to store it. But how do you make sure that you're using the right platform for your data? And how do you make sure that you have enough storage space to keep up with demand? Pity the poor soul who must manage not just his own data, but the data for an entire group of people, such as in a business. We need a way to control all of this data. A quick aside, think about driving a car. How do you drive a car? You need instruments, pedals, a steering wheel. In the same way, storage management software exists to help you control data. Just like your car has gauges and instruments on the dashboard to help you drive, storage management is made much easier with these software tools. And just what are these tools? Well, on a car, some gauges and tools have been standard for a long time. Storage software also has standard tools. For example, one common ability is that the software can map the data on the SAN. Like a car navigation system will direct you to locations, storage software will lead you through the process of linking storage components to the applications that need to use them. Good management software also gives the user the ability to manage all the available capacity independently of the underlying hardware, virtualizing the data storage to meet user needs. Keep in mind that there is a significant performance difference between different storage arrays, drives, and connection types. Just like you wouldn't race your family sedan at a Formula One race, you don't want your poorest performing storage components handling your most active applications. Storage management software can give you tools with which to properly analyze and configure storage from a performance perspective. Finally, a good storage management package should tell you something about the topology of the entire storage area network. A good car will monitor all of its parts from the rear turn signal to the front headlights. It will even use mirrors and headlights to better show you what is on the road around it. A good storage management program can tell you about every component in the storage network, from the drives within a storage array to the switches connecting servers and how everything is linked together. Something else to consider is that storage management software is constantly expanding and improving. Again, consider a car. Today's cars are adding all kinds of new instruments and features. They even have proactive tools such as anti-lock brakes and traction control that automatically make adjustments to the system without driver input. In the same way, software is being developed to automatically handle capacity, performance, and topology. One final issue is the difficulty of creating a single, friendly interface for storage software. With all the tools and instruments already available and new ones coming all the time, you could easily get overwhelmed. Imagine trying to drive a car where all the tools and instruments require a separate installation and didn't work together. To sum it up, software exists to help us manage data in concert with storage platforms. It helps us assign space, manage performance, and monitor the entire configuration. That is... Simply Storage Management.